Welcome back. You're watching Roundtable and we are uh, speaking to Mr. Sarat Ekanayaka, Chief Minister of the Central Province. And we touched upon many developments that has been taking place in the Central Province from education to health. And when it comes to education, especially the Tamil children in the plantation sector and also the other school, si the main school system and the integration between the two. Then also the infrastructure development and the industrial policy, health and education. So many aspects was covered and was re reference to the diet killer exhibition was also given so minister continuing from where we sta stopped we were talking about the projects that were going to take uh, being taken outside the city limits of candy are there any other projects other than the uh, uh, prison and the CPC officers uh, that that is actually uh, shifting those places to the public area is a part of the project so the main project is to have a uh, special separate township in Kundasal area. Now for that uh, purpose we have um, now it is uh, in the process now and uh, there were about 200 acres being allocated uh, and uh, we, what we are going to do is uh, that uh, township will be developed over the, that area. Uh, then uh, there are the people don't need to come to the city for everything because the candy city limits within the candy city limits there are so many schools and about 40,000 students coming into the school uh, city every day when their school uh, not vac if there's no vacation so at the same time there are so many government uh, employees coming to the city so all these uh, give the people the residents in the uh, city also a big chaos so uh, when we take these um, some uh, officers and as well as some uh, maybe some uh, business development areas to the Kundasal area so then there will be another separate place for the people so um, uh, same time the cultural center it is a huge center in, in Palikali that, that is also now uh, almost finished. The so, what is what is the? Uh, can you elaborate more on the cultural center? Cultural center now, <coughs> actually, uh, this is not just only for the central province. It's a national one. So, if or anybody that that I think uh, the cultural minister uh, has decided to have it in a very good area, that very lo good location actually in a very. Uh, if you go there, so I think uh, that area is. Uh, surrounded by the mountains and very good area that area so Mahavali river is close to the area and uh, the, that cultural that that location they are they are putting up um, buildings for the uh, not just for the um, uh, dramas or uh, any exhibitions but for the students as well so you can have that area as a uh, Institute. So, is it like a, a, that's what I was going yeah, to ask you whether yeah. the, it was an institution or a place where people displaced stuff for combination? Not, not, not only displaced, that's what I want to say. So that will be, there will be teachers in it? Yeah, now, now, now the programs have not yet started, started but yeah. that is actually uh, named for that. It is building for that, that, that and area. All, what are the areas of, like when you say cultural, it, does it span across all fields of arts? Or? Uh, I, I didn't go through that because it is done by the central government. But right. anyway, now uh, now what we are losing from this country, the the now the fine arts that we we are having from the generations. Now the younger generation don't know anything about. In, in when they are going to schools, of course, in the schools they study all these things and maybe they take part in several concerts and everything. But once you leave the school. They, they they don't know anything about or they don't want to know anything about or they don't take part in these <coughs> activities. So uh, why, uh, this cultural center would give them uh, the opportunity to continue. The people who are interested, they can continue in this way. The same time in my province, I have started a school as well for, a, for the aesthetic subjects, for the advanced level students only. So this is where, what, in which location? Uh, it is also out of the city, uh, but little remote from where that is about f uh, six, seven kilometers away from. For the A level limit. students. Just for the A level students, they, they, we have. Uh, but our intention is to have uh, uh, 
hostels as well for them and uh, uh, that is not just a school they learn for the levels but same time uh, they have they get the opportunity to study other subjects have like computer and everything uh, same time they have a sp special areas for performances like so like uh, vihar mahadevi that uh, we have a special place for them and that is under development yet but we have started the last year we got about 50 uh, four students this year also we are getting that much so there, that is my provincial uh, so, uh, so that is a, the, there is awareness about the existence of this institution that's right that's right. no that is they uh, with the o level qualifications that who are interested to uh, study further in aesthetic subjects now at the moment the current situation is they go to the normal school and they study with the other children this this uh, these subjects they take as subjects not um, now in this school it is a separate school for history right. so that that one we have taken right so uh, now we were speaking about culture minister oh. so uh, what about sports are there any initiatives taken uh, in the field of sports uh, our province um, uh, we didn't have a good uh, ground for the uh, playground for the uh, players in our province. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, some players like Sugat Tilakaratna, they are from our province. So, so many, there's Mini Ruani and all uh, swimmers are from our area, Tilina, they are from our area. Likewise, we have many very good uh, um, players from our uh, province. And uh, when we talk about sports, <coughs> so uh, when we talk about hockey, that is Matali nothing separated. You can't separate Matale and hockey for two. It is, uh, so the, uh, for that, we, what we have started is, uh, we have started the first ever uh, hockey academy in Matale by province. We have to promote this. In that district, the uh, children, they like hockey. So we have a very good um, ground as well. So what we did was, close to that ground we have started an academy. Now the who are interested they can go to the academy and they can uh, prom promote their play the game, hockey, academy. hockey academy. So that is for the hockey academy and at the same time we have uh, started a playground in Digana area that will be a international one. Now uh, the first stage, uh, first what phase is. What do you mean? Uh, it'll be an international one. Um, like uh, Sugata Dasa yes. or something like that. So with the indoor stadiums and everything. In the two three years back we started. So the, with the provincial money, that that's why it's getting late. But anyway, uh, the whole uh, plan is to finish it by within two years. So I think we will be able to do that. Uh, the second phase is started now. So that gives them the opportunity. Now the uh, students in our, uh, the players in our area, they run, may, sometimes they run on the tar roads and come to the, uh, those, um, uh, when we have the sport games, but um, sports meets I mean. So now we are trying to give them the opportunity to uh, do the practices and as the well. facilities. Facilities, yes. Uh, so, uh, is there any uh, like golf courses that are going to be set up because if the tourism industry is going to boom and we are also going to look at other different countries like Japan, I, we know how they are passionately in love with uh, sports like golf. So, have you, uh, is there anything happening in that? Not by province, but there is a very good um, golf uh, ground there at um, Victoria grounds. Uh, that's a very good one. So I think they have the opportunity. And the other thing is that the, that uh, we, um, golf area and also the other sports um, complex. And apart from that, another cricket ground is coming up at Pallekale. We have started. Uh, that is not by ourselves, but the cricket academy is Sri Lanka cricket is doing that. Uh, last month we um, witnessed that it was open, and uh, that cricket ground is there. So, we have enough uh, facilities for the games as well for the <coughs> players. So, a 